Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at a USB flash drive trick that you should use in a situation where as if you're a PC repair tech and you've got a USB flash drive with all your tools on it, what you can do is literally protect it from being deleted or even getting viruses on it. Now, this can be useful for people that also have a USB flash drive with sensitive information on it that they want to access, but they don't want it to be deleted or corrupted. Now, if you're going into different computers and plugging in your USB flash drive, there's always a risk of some sort of a virus or malware jumping onto your USB flash drive and then you transferring it home uh, to your own computer. So if you're doing that as a PC repair tech, it's always useful to have this uh, option available. And I'll show you exactly what we're going to do in this video. But first, I want a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Cells. So if you've just built yourself a brand new computer and you want to activate Windows or you have a computer already that has Windows 10 Home or Windows 11 Home and you want to upgrade to Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro, you can use CD Key Cells. Don't forget, use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order and get 30% discount on all your purchases. Once you get your key, you'll be able to activate it in the activation center just like that. Very simple. All the links are in the video description. So let's get back to the actual video here. What we're going to do is open up our command prompt as administrator. And with our USB flash drive plugged into the computer, we're going to type in disk part. Once this is done, you need to type in list disk. And this will list all the disks that are on that computer. So make sure your USB flash drive is plugged in at this stage. And you can see it right there. If you look at disk management here, you will see that your USB flash drive will have a number, disk drive 2, and it will also give you uh, the details there of that drive. So I can see it's disk 2, so I want to select this one. So what we're going to do is select disk 2. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. Select disk 2. And now what we need to do is we're going to protect it. So let's just quickly test to see what the uh, settings are for this particular drive. So I'm going to do attribute space disk, and this will show me all the attributes for this particular flash drive. So you can see we have a read only no. So if we want to make this yes, we can actually turn this on, and then no one will be able to delete any sort of data. You won't be able to write to that drive. All you'll be able to do is read it. So if you're a PC repair tech and you have all your toolkit on there and you're plugging it in many different computers, especially infected ones, this is essential. So let's have a look here, attribute, space, and then what we want to do here is type in the rest of the command. So go attribute, space, disk, space, set, and then space, read only. Push enter, and this will then make the drive reloading. When I do the attribute disk again, you can see now the read only sign has come on, and it says yes, which means that any time you're trying to uh, delete data on there, it's not going to work. If you try to copy files to it, it's not going to work because it's read only. So let me just show you here. If I try to edit any of this information on here, it's not going to allow me to do it. It's just basically not going to give the permission to do so. And this can be useful if maybe you've got coursework and you're at college and you've got all your information on there and you're plugging it into different computers and you just want to read the information, but you don't want to do anything like that. You can quickly turn on this feature to stop it from. Uh, corrupting that drive, maybe a piece of malware or something like that, or someone tries to delete your data, it's not going to work. So you can see here, if I try to uh, copy and paste files in, there's no paste or copy on here. It's not going to let you transfer any files from that drive to another drive either. You can't do anything. So all you can do is read it. That's all you can do. And that's a very useful way of making sure the data on that drive is safe and secure. And it's very simple and it's reversible. Now, of course, this is not 100% foolproof. It means that someone could quite easily right click and go to properties on the data and see that it's read only and it only has read only access. And they could even reverse this themselves uh, because it is quite straightforward and easy to do, as you've seen in this video. So it's not a password protected or encrypted drive or anything of that nature, but it's just a read only drive, which obviously stops any sort of malware from copying itself over to your drive, especially if you're plugging it into multiple different computers and maybe infected computers as well if you're working on them as a tech. 
And again, you can't copy and paste data to it either. As you can see here, the disk is right protected. It does tell you. So if someone tries to copy data off it or onto it or whatever it may be, uh, it can not be done with that read only. Now, of course, if you dropped your pen drive somewhere or you've left it somewhere, someone could easily reverse this themselves. So it's not an encrypted password protected USB flash drive. It's just read only, uh, but it does serve a purpose. So let's go ahead and remove the read only here. So I'm just going to use the uh, arrow keys on my keyboard to go back to the old command and type attribute space disk space clear and then space read only. And this will remove the read only from that USB flash drive and put it back to uh, default settings the way it was before. And this will then allow you to uh, copy and paste and edit and also delete files on that USB flash drive once it's cleared because it's obviously now. Um, read only no, which we've just set it to. So let's go ahead and quickly edit this, and I'll show you that you can actually delete files now, edit them, or do what you like. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Quite a useful little trick. If you didn't know it, let me know in the comment section below what sort of content you want to see, and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat or I'll catch you in the very next video. Don't forget if you've got any video requests, you can always leave them in the comment section. I'll be happy to read your video request and try to make those videos for you. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.